For this project in class, I'm having you guys create three different graphs using Google Sheets. Now, this is a free program, so the hope is that this will be easy enough that you can use it for any time after graduation. So let's just go through real quickly just creating these. We're going to do a pie chart, we're going to do a bar graph, and we're going to do a histogram. So starting off, let's look at this first one. Let's go ahead and do our pie chart first. Now, a pie chart is categorical data. So notice that these are all words and categories here, not forms of measurement. And this is how many people answered each of those options. So if I want to make a pie chart of these, what I'm going to do is highlight my data as we have it. And I can even include the plans after graduation if you would like, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to click insert after highlighting those. And I'm going to hit chart. Now give it a few seconds, but then it should pop up with something like this. Now notice it has here are each of our categories and the percent of people that chose them out of the total. They found those percents by adding all of these up and dividing each one by that total. Now, this would be the pie chart. I did mention that I wanted a title for your pie chart. So if you wanna go ahead and get the title, you can go over here on the right-hand side where it says chart editor. If this doesn't pop up, you can always get back into it by clicking these three dots right here. And then you go to edit chart and it allows you to bring that same thing up. I'm gonna go ahead and click on customize over here and go down to, uh, let's go with chart and axes titles because I said that I want a title here. And I'm just gonna title this whatever the question that was being answered. So in this case, this is the plans after graduation. Cool, I'm gonna hit enter. And now notice on my chart, it has those plans after graduation right there. Another thing that's sometimes helpful but not required for this project is in Customize, you can also go to your pie chart here and see where it says Slice Labels. If you don't like that there are arrows pointing in, you can actually have things written directly on the pie slices. I'm gonna go ahead and change that right now to value because that's not anywhere in my chart. And that tells me not just the percent of people, but how many people that did that. Um, now, I also could put labels so that you know what those are in the actual chart, but since I already have an arrow pointing to that and saying what they are, I'm okay with going ahead and leaving that at value so it gives me something new in the chart that's not there. That means we now have our chart with all of our information and a title at the top, so we're good to move on to our next one. So I'm going to scroll down a bit, and I have another group of categorical data because we're going to be creating a bar graph. Now, in this case, I do the same thing. I go to insert, I go to chart, and it's going to pop up another pie chart. But I can change that pie chart by, again, going into this little chart editor. And again, you can go in hitting these three dots if it doesn't part up, pop up. And where it says chart type right here, I'm going to change that to now be the bar graph. Now, it calls it a column chart right here. But that's what we know to usually be our typical uh, bar graph as we're looking at. Now, notice it already does say versus what is your favorite type of movie up here. Um, usually versus means you're doing one thing versus another. So I'm just going to change that. Get rid of the verses by double clicking in there and editing. Again, though, you could find that editing option in the three dots and over in the same place we did for pie chart. Now, in this case, though, looking at the graph, it looks like the rest of this is already solid. It has this label down here. It says how many people are going up over here. It has a title for it. So this would be your bar graph ready to go. Now, the last one that we're going to be looking at today is a histogram. And a histogram is different because it's not looking at categorical data where it's like categories and how many people answered. Instead, it is quantitative data, meaning that it is just a list of numbers that we are going to be graphing. Usually you have like a range of numbers and you're gonna see how many people fell in that range of number. And instead of having words across the bottom here, a histogram is gonna have a number line because we're dealing with a measurable thing. So it says, how many siblings do you have? I am going to treat it the same way though. I'm going to highlight all of the data I have, all the quantitative data. I'm gonna to go to insert and I'm gonna hit chart. If you notice, this may look just like it did before for the bar graph, but notice now I have a number line across the bottom. It also already put the title in there of histogram of how many siblings do you have. Great, that works for me, it's good enough. I don't really like how it's jumping by like 2.42 here and it kind of looks silly. So what I am gonna do is go into my same customized menu that I would get to with the three dots and go into edit. And I'm gonna to go to histogram and change my bucket size. Right now it says auto and that's where these funky numbers are coming from. But if I switch that from auto to let's just say two, then now I'm grouping it by two. So for every two, it tells me how many people answered that for the question. So for example, this would be how many people had one or two siblings or zero, I guess would be included there as well. 
whereas this would be three and four and so forth. So this is just one way to create your histogram here. And as you can see, all three of those were done very easily, very quickly in Google Sheets.